Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com and uh, I'm sure I had a video regarding the uh, spur grommets uh, and washers. Spur grommets and washers are these heavy duty grommets that they have the backing. Look at this here. And these are the grommets and these are the backing. They have with teeth or prongs in them and they go in there and they lock together. It's mostly done for doing outside, draperies outside, um, doing heavy, heavy stuff outside for uh, uh, awning, banners, all that stuff. So I, I thought we have a video and I th we don't have one. Uh, maybe it is on YouTube, I couldn't find it, but I got a customer called in and wanted to see, this is for that customer that called me today and said, hey, how come we don't have a video on this? We have over 300,000 items. We have to have over 300,000 uh, different videos for everything, but I'm more than happy to do it if I have time. So whenever we get to really heavy stuff, uh, I don't like to use the heavy grommet, uh, heavy press machines. I wanna go to the super heavy duty one. This is the PM5. It's the, different, it's the same thing. It's just, this is the longer handle, more heavy duty, more steady. And it's good for people that do professional work every day. Uh, it's better to have one of these. I'm not saying these are not good for rivets, grommeting, a snap, eyelets. These are perfect. They're good. They come in the five different colors. But if you want to do heavy stuff, you want to think that you're going to hang on and jump on and do stuff, you're going to use one of these things. So uh, the person was trying to do, so we said we have numbers one, three, four, six, right? And these ones, number one, three, four, six. These are the number of the garments. We have only gold and silver. So she is doing this one. And when it comes to these heavy ones, I don't want to really rely on making a hole by the grommet. A lot of people like to make the hole by the grommet, going in, pressuring it. I like to pre-punch the hole. And for that, I'm gonna use one of these machines, right? It's very simple, you know, we have bunch of dies for all this stuff I'm gonna use. It doesn't matter which one, right? This one goes on the bottom. And I forgot to bring my screwdriver, so I'm gonna use one that, ah, it's already open. The red one, all right? All you have to do, this is top, bottom. And again, I don't, I let it lose like this. I said this many, many times. I let this loose. I let this loose, I don't go all the way up. I make it loose, like, I get a much better um, result when I keep it up like this, you see that? So I'm gonna go ahead, bring this one up. Did I make a hole? You see that? You see the hole? I'm gonna do another one. Another one, that two. See, done. And this is pretty thick. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty thick vinyl, you see. See, just make the hole like that. Now, you could, we have uh, lots of different type of uh, button hole dies. I mean, uh, hole uh, dies, making hole dies or piercing dies, whatever you call them right here. And the dies between these machines and these machines are all the same. Same, same thing. Just that I forgot to bring, I think, the washer for that one thing that is here. I think I have it. I, I don't know when I don't have it. Okay, so the way it works is that this one goes on top, right? Again, all of these things have their own dies. All the grommets, all the snaps, all the rivets, they have their own die. There is no way you could use one die for any other thing. It's impossible. Even if you have the spur grommet and you have the regular garment grommet, the regular one, and the same size, it's a number one, and this is number one, you still need a different die. For sure, you need a different die. Let me go get the bottom one part of this while you're showing around this one. I don't know why I didn't bring the bottom one. I thought I had it, I don't have it. Oh, 
this is so fun. Oh, here, I have it, I have it, I have it, I have it, I have it. I have it. Why I don't have it? You know, when you're so busy all day long and you're jumping from one phone call to another phone call, and that happens. So these are the, the female part of it. I'm doing, by the way, number one right now. I'm doing number one. Number one is pearl grommet and washer. And this is it. See, show this, good product. This is this one has the, you have the prongs. It has the pointy thingy, all right? So this goes on the bottom. The real grommet, the papa goes on top and stays on top, you see? See, you don't have to hold it down there. Grommet. I mean, your material face up, face up, sits right in this, right? And come down and Beautiful. You see, look how beautiful it is. Now, as you see this one here, you could always press more. The reason I didn't do it, I didn't press more because this is really flimsy table. I don't want to break the table. But if I go back there, press, see, you get more pressure. If the more, more pressure, better. If you have something, it's like up to your waist, it would be much, much, much better result. Mm. So you see back, look at this back. Look at this front. I'm gonna do another one. The bottom prong, like this one, goes on the bottom. The grommet goes on top. It stays there, all right? Your piece, whatever it is, face up, meaning this is the face, it stays up. Okay, you see that right here? And down. How do you like it? Perfect. Perfect? Perfect. So actually Lindsay is the one that is talking all day long with the customer. So this is what they asked for. They want to see how we do different things. I try to do as much as video as I can, but it takes some time. But anyways, so these are the grommets. Again, these are the press machine. Every single grommet, every single snap, every single rivet, and every single size, it needs its own dedicated die. There is no way you could, you know, mix and match. Just do, should I do another big one here? Sure. I'll just do one big one. So like you're gonna do big, big, big one, extra jumbo size. Sometimes, see, another trick is that you have to put the bottom one first. Bottom one first, and then the top one, you see? And sometimes you don't have a lot of room to do everything, but see, you have to Again, let me show you. If, can you, if I bring it to a lower table, mm -hmm. like it's to my right here, I have more, you see how much pressure I could put on it? And then, there we go. Front, mm -hmm. back. And you would have your fabric in here, right? So the easiest way is to set this on a table that is not high, so you have a lot of pressure. Now, let me tell you something about, come here so we are more light, about our dies. You see these our dies, they have a lip, means that they will hold the grommet on top. This grommet goes in there and it will hold it. Very simple. It happens sometimes that this spring comes out. All you have to do, Put it back together. Imagine it like this. 
Let's say this part, hold the part right here. This is what you're gonna see. Oh my God, here goes my die. There is no problem. This is your body of the die. This one goes down the bottom. This one goes in the bottom. It doesn't happen all the time. I'm just saying, if it happens, this is not something that you have to do every day. No, no, no. This is only I'm showing you so if this happens, you don't have to get worried. And then you put this one around it and just like you're brand new. Hey. Here you go. Thank you for watching. This is David from goldstartool.com. Please like, share, thumbs up, and let me know what, what type of video you want me to do for you next. Thank you for watching.